George and Bill were best of friends growing up, and they also shared many similarities. They were both smart, athletic, talented, but that's where the comparison stopped. George was from a very wealthy, well-connected family, while Bill was from more of a lower-income, blue-collar family. After they graduated college, George used those powerful family connections to secure a job in one of the most prestigious firms in the entire country, while Bill had a much harder time even getting an interview. Finally, after much effort, Bill got an interview at George's firm. The interview went great. Bill was convinced that he was going to get an offer at George's firm. But then, to his dismay, the rejection letter. Bill just couldn't understand. He had aced that interview. How did he get that rejection letter? He did a little bit of a snooping around, and he found out that George, his old friend George, had not spoken well of him to the management of the firm. And that's how he had gotten the rejection letter. Bill felt a deep sense of hurt. More than that, a deep feeling of betrayal towards his old friend George. 20 years passed. Bill eventually got a job in a competing firm, working his way up to the top using his talents to become the CEO of the company. Meanwhile, George's firm merged into Bill's. Bill is now, ironically, George's boss. One day, George is working on a major deal for the firm, and he commits a major gaffe, costing the company millions. George's fate is now in the hands of his old friend, Bill. Bill remembers their old friendship. But then again, there's that deep sense of betrayal, deep feelings of betrayal towards his old friend that just didn't go away. George is let go the next day. In the Torah portion of Ayigash, Yosef is sold into slavery by his brothers. He goes down to Egypt, and it's somehow, some way, he works his way up to become the second to the king in Egypt. Yosef's brothers are now before him. They're at his mercy. What does Yosef do? He kisses them, he hugs them, and he tells them, don't worry, I'm going to take good care of you. How is it possible for Yosef to overcome these natural human emotions, that sense of betrayal? How can he come to forgive his brothers? Yosef provides us with the answer. Yosef tells his brothers, you didn't send me here to Egypt. God sent me here. Yosef believed to the very fabric of his being that God runs the world. And with his brothers or without his brothers, Yosef knew that he was going to end up as a slave in Egypt. And therefore, he was able to minimize and reduce those personal negative feelings towards his brothers and come to forgiveness. We can only imagine what happy world we would live in if we all adopted the philosophy of Yosef.